the time my goldfish uh, laid eggs what do I do and so the first thing is if they laid them inside the tank and they're not on a surface that you can remove chances are you know you can't really move them without damaging them if you can remove the eggs um, these ones I showed a clip yesterday that they were laid within 24 hours you can start seeing I'm gonna point with this the ones that turn white like this they're no good See that one's white right there. You know, I'm going to try and just knock that one off of that one. And so if they turn really, really white like this one here, but they're clear, like this one's clear, this one's clear, this one, this one, you know, some of these ones over here, they're kind of greenish. That's debatable. Uh, but the ones that turn white, white, white like this, that's an unfertilized egg that's no good and you can tell that about after 24 hours so 24 hours um you want to keep your eggs kind of warm the warmer they are the earlier they're going to hatch that doesn't mean you want to crank the heat because then you risk more fungus and gunk building up on them you want to keep them rinsed good i swish clean water in there a couple times a day try and keep my eggs spread out the biggest hatch i had was the one on um the mop because it was way more spread out. I, ha I have an issue if you keep them all in one bucket with growing fungus. You can add methylene blue, but anytime you add chemicals or have bad water, you risk um, it hurting your fry before they even hatch. So uh, if you can keep them clean, keep them rinsed with uh, aged chlorinated water, rinse them daily, keep it warm in the 70s, they'll hatch in two to three days. Two to three days, they're going to hang on the wall. I'll put an insert a clip of my Aranda babies when they were just fries. They hang on the wall. They still have an egg sac. That, depending upon the temp, um, they'll start swimming another two to three days. I've had ones where I've had the temp too warm, and they start swimming literally after 24 hours. They absorb that egg, egg sac that fast. You don't want it that warm because then you're just at risk for bacteria, fungus. You know, 70s is a good temp, and... As I said before, there's also research that the temp you raise your fish can affect the sex of them. So about 24 hours after they hatch um, to 48 hours, depending upon the temp, you want to start brine shrimp. If you can, that is the single best food for the first couple weeks. You know, after two to three weeks, depending upon the size, you can add in steamed eggs like I do or gel food. But uh, you can find decapsulated, but that pollutes the water quickly. It doesn't move around. They can't feed over an extended period of time. Fresh hash, hatched brine shrimp is the best. And, but you don't need to feed that till they're free swimming. And then um, water changes. I have another clip on how to do water changes by stuffing your hose in that and then using a, simply a turkey baster uh, to suck up the fungusy stuff at the bottom. And that can help clear your tank. That's the biggest thing is keeping water changes space, keeping them clean once they've hatched, feeding them. I do cycle out two jars, so I do two heavy feedings a day of fresh hatch brine trip, and that's all I do until about two weeks when I start adding in gel food. So that is simply it. That's when you have eggs, oh my god, what do I do? That's what you do. I don't know if you can see, but when I, the day after I moved my goldfish into the 165 I seen him swimming in and out of the spawning mop and I looked and sure enough there were some eggs on it and I thought oh it looks like at least a couple are good well they've now like two three days out hatched and this thing is just I mean all those little specks you're gonna see all the way back there a ton of them so yes, now I have Aranda babies. I've got them all along here in the back, but this wall, this wall here is just covered in babies. So